Hello and welcome to this video. So I said at the end of the last video, it's good that we've got a candlestick plot. It's kind of bad that the styling is not, let's say, perfect. So what we're going to do in this video is we're just going to go through some settings that we can apply to the charts to change the styling a bit. Plotly has an enormous documentation on the huge amount of customization you can do on the charts and it can be quite a minefield to dig through them all and get them all out. So hopefully this will help you a little bit with how you go about styling them. The way you go about it actually is just to add dictionaries into the various functions. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the size of the plot. So to do that, I'm going to type fig dot update layout and width 1000 and height 400. And that's made my chart look a little bit bigger. It still doesn't look good, but uh, it's bigger. Of course, you can use whatever settings you want for the width and the height. I just have to be conscious of trying to fit on the screen so you can see it. The next thing I want to do is I want to change the background. Now we have to change two things here. One is the what's known as the paper color where the chart is drawn. And the other one is we want to change the actual plot background color. So after the height here, I'm going to type a comma and then a new line and type paper underscore BG color is equal to hash 1E1E1E. And then also plot underscore BG color is equal to hash 1E, 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 1E. And now you can see we've got our plot on a bit of a darker background. Now I will say, obviously duplicating strings like this is not best coding practice, but it doesn't matter really for this notebook here. We can, if we need to, sort that out later on. Next thing I'd like to do is make the plot fit slightly more into the space available, especially as I have a little bit of a space problem here. So just before the paper background color and after the height, I'm going to type margin is equal to a dictionary and then left is 10, right is 10, top is 10 and bottom is 10. And now we can see the plot occupying a lot more of the space and especially for this video where we're zoomed in, uh, we can see a little bit more of the plot. It's still not looking fantastic, but we've got some changes. Next one is we're going to actually change the font color here on the layout so that we can see the labels on the axes. So to do that, we'll type that the font is equal to a dict We'll change the size, set it to 10 and the color equal to E1, E1, E1. So now we have our font appearing a little bit better on the chart. And next thing I'd like to do is sort out the grid and the grid lines and things. So the first thing is to drop below update layout. Now we're going to type fig dot update X axis and open parentheses. And in there, grid color is equal to hash 1F292F. Show grid is true. Fixed range is true. And the range slider dict visible equals false. This last setting gets rid of the little chart on the bottom that allows us to change the range. So I'm just going to scroll down a tiny bit here and we can see that the bottom chart has disappeared and we've got the different colored grid lines going upwards for our x-axis. I'm just going to scroll up here and change the height to 300 unfortunately so that we can still see this in the video okay next thing to do then is update the y-axis i'm actually going to copy and paste the x-axis here just paste the same values in for the y-axis and take out the range slider stuff and now we can see the chart is starting to look a little bit nicer already so the last thing to do then is to work a little bit on these candles to make the candles look a little bit better and i'm sure on your screen this all looks better i'm zoomed in so everything is a little bit squashed up so back up to the add trace here, I'm going to set line is equal to dict, width equals one, and opacity is equal to one. And that improves it a little bit and thins out the lines on the, the outlines. And now we'll style the candles themselves. And I'm just going to paste these in so I can stop typing things out. So what we have is increasing fill color, so the, the green candle, the decreasing fill color, the increasing line color, and the decreasing line color, just some more hex codes in there to make things look a little bit better. So let's just run this as well. And now what we can see is we've got quite a nice looking candle chart from the one that we had earlier. I'm just going to change the height a little bit here back to 400 so it looks a little bit better. And there we go. So that's it then for this video. We've managed to add some styling and now we can get on with our data analysis. So thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one.